Hello boys and girls, welcome once again to GMX's Construct. So, if you're on this video you know how, why to build a gearbox, how to build a gearbox and how to control said gearbox. But you may find out a fun little problem with gearboxes, they're really quite heavy. Here I have a, I think this thing weighs maybe 2000 weight hydraulic motor and a load of gears on the other end, each gear weighing wrong at all. Each gear weighing 500 and a wheel on the end that weighs 250. I'm getting some wicked bag. It's all the gears. Oh well. Anyway, so it's about 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 weight on that end, 1,000 on that end. If I put it down slowly, you can see my quite long suspension only just deals with it. Stick it in gear. It sort of trundles away. Because the main problem here is, if I have the admin tools, turn the time scale down. The teeny weeny gears I'm using are slightly skipping. If I give it more power, they'll get worse. Now I could cure this with more weight, but then the gearbox and the whole car will drop through the floor. So, what's a guy to do? He builds a weighted box. Yes, using the wonderful powers of E2 and an entity maker, you can make a gearbox that toggles weight to using the gears that you're using. So, for instance, if I'm in first, these two gears will be heavier than the rest. If I'm in second, these two will be heavier, and so on and so forth. The idea is, cut the weight of things you're not using. You don't need one big heavy gearbox all the time. All you ever need is two quite heavy gears. Maybe four if you're using reverse. Also, this comes from Mr. Winston, because he figured out how to do this. Or he, he hinted how to do it to me, and then I went off and sort of half figured it out and half shouted at dude how to use set mass, and then sort of made some bastardized code to do it. But the original thing's from Winston. Thank you, Winston! Alright, because I'm getting a lot of lag there. I say lag. I'm going to cut down two of these gears. So, I've got two gears and an E2. Now, in order for this to work, you need entities. Now, you can use an E2 and directly connect to something to turn it into an entity, but it's much better to use a advanced entity maker. Go over to work, go over to protection, and you'll find the entity maker. Click it down, and it'll say zero entities connected. I suggest going in orders of gears. The first two gears, you right click the entity maker, then right click gear. The next first entity. Right click, right click again. Now I know that these two gears are one and two in my entity maker. Do it again. Three and four. So I've basically now got four entity gears. All of their masses, well, I haven't touched their masses because I haven't wired everything up. So they're all still 500 weight. So, head over the wire, head over to E2, right click. You first have to make the entities readable from the expression. So, on your inputs, you put whatever you want to call it. So, in this case, I've called it GW1 for gear 1. Sim uh, no, colon, not semicolon. Colon, and then you write entity all in lowercase, and that makes the E2 see it as an entity. You can then wire directly to it or use the advanced entity maker. Alright. Now then, I've again used my bastardized lazy code, so if gear 1 equals 1, I've changed this later on for input, but basically if gear 1 equals 1, if I'm in first gear, then GW1, which is gear 1, colon, set, capital M, mass, open bracket, 500, close bracket. Right, same for gear 2, then when you get to gears 3 and onwards, you put GW, which is your gear, or whatever you've called it, you could have called it bacon for all I know. So, entity, colon, set mass to 5, which will set the mass of the gear to 5. Because I've basically wired all this up already, now I'll probably stick the code out as well. So, you go over to E2, you look at gear 1, which is DBW1, it's an entity, click that, click the entity maker, connect it to 1. Go to two, connect to two. Go to three, connect to three, go to four, connect to 
four. Now if I bring out the weight tool again, change gear once or twice, now see, gears three and four now weigh five, he gears one and two weigh five hundred. So basically half the weight of my box, meaning I could now make those gears weigh more so I could transfer more power. So I can then just go back to the E2, change this to a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, and a thousand, check the code, upload next, hit. go back to the weight tool, stick it first, stick it second, and freeze, the suspension handles it a lot better because of halved the weight, give it a bit of power, now nah, works a lot better, you can actually get some go out of it. Yeah, how so you build a weighted box using set maths, I'll stick the code up. I know most people don't actually try and learn code, they just want it from everyone else, but there are a few people out there who actually do try and learn it from other people's code. So you never know, maybe, maybe someone will learn something if they're not heavy enough. Also, try not to use these very, very tiny gears. I mean, the little 12 teeth ones. They never seem to work very well for me. They might do for you. They always seem to skip. If I go a size up, I tend to have a lot more success. That's how to build a weighted box. Thanks to Mr. Winston for the original tip, and dude for telling me how set mass works. I think I did it well there before, and then I took to Winston some more. As always, I'm Big Adam, and I do crap tutorials. And it's only half ten. Still got an entire day to dick about.